Hello, peace, and welcome back to the best career channel here on YouTube today. Back with Theodore Dragomir at Arsenal. Today, then, we kick off in the FA Cup against Manchester United in the round of 32. We also have Leicester in the second leg of the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. So that's two trophies we're potentially going for. We have the end of January. We picked up some form recently. We beat West Ham in the second leg, or the replay, sorry, of the FA Cup. We beat Fulham and Crystal Palace. We also have Wolves in the league. We have Watford and Aston Villa in a very empty month of February. I think the uh, Carabao Cup final if we beat Leicester, which I think we're 2 0. We're 2 0 up. We should be in the final. So I think the final will also be there. And then we have Liverpool in the next month. Uh, in the league, we still have Tottenham and Manchester City and Manchester United away. So those are the big Premier League games left. So we have the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup. I think the Premier League, it's a bit out of our way. I'm pretty sure Spuds are still top with only one else. If I see Spuds win, the Premier League, I'll be fuming, ladies and gentlemen. Man, you are second. We are third. We're, what, eight points off them? So, it's going to be tough. We do have to play them, like we said. So, we have to make sure we do not lose a match in the Premier League from here on out, ladies and gentlemen. Emirates FA Cup, Arsenal take on Manchester United. I'm pretty sure they're the two most teams, or the two teams that have won it the most. Uh, so, we'll see who goes through. Leave a thumbs up on this video. I don't know why I'm doing my outro thing. And let's get into it. BT Sport, we should have. Oh my god, the TIFO. Theodore Dragomir TIFO, ladies and gentlemen. I'll get a zoom in on that at the Emirates Stadium. Emirates FA Cup, a TIFO of TD. Oh, that's the thumbnail for today, ladies and gentlemen. There he is with the boys in red. That was incredible. We're here at home against Manchester United. Emirates FA Cup action. We have the scoreboard and everything. I do also want to say, actually, this is my first time playing. Oh my god, we are at 150 frames, ladies and gentlemen. There should be no lagging, no delay, no shenanigans anymore. Of course, last episode, we, it was the first episode on the PC, but it was only using two RAM sticks out of my four, and the speeds were half of what they should be. So there was a bit of lag and a bit of delay. Uh, not delay, but a bit of lag and stuttering here and there last episode. From here on out, I've upgraded to Windows 11. I've reseated my RAM and fixed it. Every game is running at amazing settings now. I fully fixed this PC with the 4070 Ti that they've given me as well. It looks and feels incredible now. It's like a brand new game, ladies and gentlemen. As Theodore Dragomir runs past Kukure. He's feeling fresh. He's feeling new as well with the 4070 Ti. Pass across to Makoko. Touch. It doesn't get the shot off. But yeah, the now, like this is it. There's no more stuttering. It looks insane. Oh, I love how good this feels. Because they upgraded the PC. Of course, I know you guys want to hear all about this. But they upgraded the PC to a 4070 Ti. And I haven't really been using the RAM. Because there was a little bug. I had to contact them. There was a little bug with my RAM not fully working. I've fully fixed it now. And the uh, it's so smooth. Even the cutscenes and everything. It's so smooth now. And looks incredible. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Dragging it. Taking the corner. Whipping that bad boy in. Martin Odegaard's in there. Cleared off the line. Cleared off the line. This is my first time actually playing. Oh, Dragomir taking free. Oh, this is way too far up. He's going to go for it anyway. This is my first time playing FIFA and recording FIFA since fixing my RAM as well. It was on target. So I didn't expect to have this many frames, but it looks incredible. Anthony. Head to the box. Declan Rice. First chance for United. Good tackle. The potential counter is on here. Makoko. Up to Theodore Dragomir again. He has the run against Kukurea so far. Been dominating him. Down this right-hand side. Pass across. Trying to find someone. Williams is there. But another block by the Manchester United defence. They are really, really defending all they can right now. Watch this left-hand side. Oh, good tackle. Ruben Neves. Declan Rice stays down. That is tough, tough luck. Is Martin Odegaard. Up to Theodore Dragomir. Williams Jr. is across if you can find him. Good save, keeper. We went for it. The cutting pass. Oh, this feels so nice being high frames now. I love it. <laughs> oh, we're finally using the beefiness of the PC that they upgraded us with. And all I had to do was take out my RAM and put it back in. And it fixed all of our problems. And now I've upgraded to Windows 11, which makes OBS run even more smooth, which isn't crazy. OBS right now is using less than 1% of my CPU, which is just insane. Oh, God. Dragomir. Makoko is in the middle, trying to find him. Makoko in behind the defense. Lovely little dribbling. Goes on his left foot, tried to open up his body. I respect the effort. They're looking at the goal line technology. Definitely not. I respect the effort, but goes wayward. Makoko. 
Williams Jr. trying to get the cross off. Nowhere near. Declan Rice is back up. Dragomir takes him down. Here is Dragomir. Over to Martin Odegaard. Makoko and Dragomir in the box. Odegaard cuts back to Dragomir trying to get it back. One more. Kamara. Odegaard. Dragomir. Kamara. Edge of the box. In the box. Oh, it's like real life Arsenal. We just don't shoot. So much passing around. Second half. I'm surprised we haven't scored, Jamie. I mean, we've been dominating. Definitely, definitely, definitely been the better team. And definitely want and need a goal in this second half. Dragomir has been tearing apart Kukare down this right hand side for Arsenal. Looking dominant as a winger yet again is Dragomir. He's back to his old roots in North London. Nice ball down the right hand side. Anthony trying to get United back into this one. Keepers come off his line. Keepers come off his line. Who's in goal? Is that Pickford or the young one? And Manchester United have actually stolen it. The pass across. Great play by United. It is Pickford in goal. And Dane Scarlett gets the go-ahead goal for Manchester United. Don't even know who that is. And Arsenal find themselves 1-0 down. Makoko. Williams Jr. Makoko. Not liking Makoko's recently. I don't know if we have any backup strikers. Or if we're going to buy any. I don't think Mikel Arteta will. But I'm not liking him recently. McCokes. Oh, he's so bad at passing and like his movement and everything. Dragomir wins it back. Gives it away. Oh, my God. Dragomir. McCokes. He stinks, bro. Just about gets it off. Dragomir. Move out of guard. Move out of guard. Getting in each other's way. Dragomir going on a run. Makoko, edge of the box. If you can find him, he goes to Odegaard. One more for Makoko on the volley. Maybe we do like him. 62nd minute. He's going to pick up the ball, of course. Maybe we do like him. Jesus Christ, man. It's been stressful, but he gets the goal. Nice little bicey there. Odegaard gets the assist. Back level peg in 1-1. Half an hour to play. Good game here between two classic rivals. All of a sudden trying to break through. Ruben Neves now. Dragomir. Lovely burst of pace. Pass Kukurea. Oh, I see Williams Jr. He sees Williams Jr. back post. Makoko in the box. He cuts it back to Williams Jr. Open goal. Oh, keeper. What a save, Odegaard. Martin, Martin, Odegaard. Martin, Martin, Odegaard. What a header. Of all people to score a header, it would be him. And it's awesome. No. We're beating Kukurea as well. You bloody who wizzy lookalike. Get out of town. Martin Odegaard over, my friend. Literally. With the header to equalize 1-1. You can see what it means to him. The former ca captain. Of course, not the captain anymore. But he still should be. Ruben Neves is still a good captain. But maybe maybe I'll talk to Arteta about getting Odegaard the captain's armband again. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. As we swift this one around into a 2-1 lead. Box now. Anthony. Oh, crucial. Crucial interception. Trip through ball up. Drag him in. Yeah, unlucky. Leicester next, second leg, of course, of the Carabao Cup semi-finals. Back-to-back cup games, but of, uh, uh, we have all the scoreboards, you know. We have the scoreboard mods working, which just excite me. I love having the scoreboards on. They look incredible. On BT Sport as well, Garnacho is out there. The new United hero in real life. Hickey gets rid of it. Up to Theodore Dragomir. He's going to try burst pass. Kukurea can't hold him, ladies and gentlemen. Kukurea cannot contain Theodore Dragomir has been passing left, right, and centre. Maybe he should have passed again. Oh, Drago, Dragomir. Dragomir. Telemans. We have Telemans. Did I know that? I can't remember. Or did we just sign him? Yuri Telemans for Arsenal, of course, linked in real life. Realistic move from Arteta if he is new this window. I can't remember if we had him before or not. But Yuri Telemans. Maybe we did. And I'm just being stupid. But Yuri Telemans comes on for Neves. I can't believe Dragomir bottled that chance. Nice touch. Lovely touch. Yeah. He's a, he's a demon today. He's a demon. It's Dragomir Odegaard to wrap it up. 3-1. Dragomir assist. On that right-hand side, Dragomir just goes for the assists. He just goes for the assist. Oh, why cut off the celebration? The Emirates explodes. Five minutes to go. 3-1 up. Is that two assists for Dragomir now? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I think he got the pass to assist in the first one, actually. So maybe that's the first. I'm not sure. But he's been absolutely cooking. Kukurea. On the right-hand side for Arsenal today. Kukure stood no chance against him. All game from Bassi. Oh, surely not. Keeper. Okay, I was going to say Keeper's going to come out. Because Dragomir actually would have got that. Dragomir actually would have beat Kukure again. Three minutes gone. Arsenal take a 3-1 win 
in the FA Cup against Manchester United, meaning we move on in another cup competition. So we have the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. We have, this was the round of 32, I think, so, or round of 16, so I don't know where that goes next, if it's the quarterfinals or semi-finals of the FA Cup. Of course, the Premier League push is on as well. So a lot of trophies up for grabs for TD. We draw 2-2 two -two with Leicester. Dragomir gets a goal, meaning we advance in the EFL Cup to the final, ladies and gentlemen. We advance to the final of a trophy against... Against... Oh, they haven't played yet. It's 2-0 to Red Reading or Swansea. Listen, I don't care about the Carabao Cup. I really don't. But a trophy is a trophy for Dragomir. And that is going to be an easy one. Uh, Transfer-wise, Francisco... Sanchez, Hertha Berlin, signed Umar Sule. Uh, Hugo Ekatike gets signed. Burnley make... Are we not signing anyone? No? Hmm. Right, deadline day. Have we really not signed in top deals? Yeah, there's barely been any signings. Interesting. Let's skip deadline day and see in the squad hub if we've made any moves. Up front, yeah, we don't really have backup other than Makoko. Dragomir... 89 overall, 24 years of age now. Crazy. Telemans. Yeah, we have a strong team. I, th I think depth might have been useful. But we haven't really signed anyone extra. I don't think. We got rid of David De Gea. We have Fernando Cortez, a young 21-year-old goalkeeper. I want to see him more than Pickford in goal. But um, there's our team after the January transfer window. Not too bad. Sky Sports Premier League then. We had our TFO at the FA Cup. We're back at the Emirates today. In Premier League competition, as Arsenal take on Watford. I thought it was Everton for a second in the blue kit, but it is indeed Watford. They have a nice blue kit. Theodore Dragomir playing on the left-hand side. I thought that was Royce. Theodore Dragomir on the left-hand side against Watford. I didn't know they had a blue kit. It's a very nice blue kit at that for Watford. But hopefully, big three points for Arsenal. I didn't look at the league table after our last win. So I'll be interested to see how close the gap is to the spots now. Of course, we have some big games coming up later against Liverpool, Man U, Man City and Tottenham. So still a lot of points to play for in the Premier League as we go 1-0 down at home. The free kick was on target. Look, look how smooth the cutscenes are now, ladies and gentlemen, with the upgraded PC. I wish it was an Arsenal player celebrating that Watford kit is beautiful. I love a blue kit. Blue and white looks incredible. It looks like an Everton kit. Beautiful uh, kit for Watford. Incredible free kick. Everything is super, super smooth and crisp right now. One goal in 23 matches, of course, is against Arsenal. We have a workout for us here today, ladies and gents. What an episode. J just the fact that everything runs smoother and looks better, it makes me like more excited and want to play more, you know? It's so refreshing having an upgraded PC and everything working again. Cortez. The 21-year-old, he looks quite small. Maybe that's why he got beat by a free kick. I didn't check his height. The 21-year-old um, goalkeeper. He is starting in this one over Pickford. I want to see him starting more. Making some saves. There's one. Shot on target. Long shot. Good save, Cortez. He looks really small. Can we check his height at all? Nothing against. Nothing against it, but, you know, you don't really want a goalkeeper to be too small. I don't think you can check stats here. We'll check after if I remember. Dragomir keeps it on. Dangerous area. Round one. He's going to go on a bit of a run down this right side. If he can get past the defense, which he can't. But he gets the ball back to him. I still can't believe we have over 50 episodes of Dragomir. Our longest series on this channel. Oh, he goes off. I like that we kept to our word, though. I said at the beginning, I said in episode one, that Theodore Dragomir will be the longest series on this channel. And now he's over 50 episodes. He still gets more views than Tinabu, than, uh, than Axel Korsgaard, the Arsenal crew. And he still gets so, like more views than every other series as well. Everyone loves Dragomir. Um, we're trying to, I'm trying to get him like two or three episodes a week. And then Axel Korsgaard, like, maybe like one a week. Just because Dragomir is our main series. You know, I want him to reach 100 episodes before... Oh, I was going to say FIFA 24, but EA Sports 24, whatever it is. I want him to reach 100 episodes. So I want to start cranking them out. Another shot is blocked. The rebound goes wide. Jesus. And like I say, we we keep adding mods. Now it's running even smoother. It looks even better. Like I, I, I just get more and more excited to record Theodore Drogba. Especially now that he's back at Arsenal in the Premier League. I think everyone prefers being back at Arsenal in the Premier League. I can't wait for the day he brings out the man bun again. That will be elite. Easy pass. Dragomir. Williams Jr. on the right-hand side. We've swapped here today. Makoko. Theodore Dragomir bursting through the middle. Hefty, hefty touch. Shot was on tar target. Check made the save. I don't think that's Petr Check. 
But um, <laughs> a young check. I don't know if that's a new gen. I think, again, a lot of new gens like that Fernando Cortez, our goalkeeper. A lot of new gens are going to be coming on the scene now that we are so far in the future. Was that a handball in there? Oh, it was an Arsenal handball. I like that, though. We never normally get this far in career modes where we have like a bunch of new gens and a bunch of new signings and whatnot. Dragomir is 24 years of age, which is amazing to see how far he has come. No one's tracking him down. New position right mid. You can't see it behind me. They've moved us to the right, though, for the second half. Halftime 1-0 down from that incredible free kick at home. Really don't want to be dropping points at the Emirates Stadium against Watford. We're on the right-hand side for the second half. I think Dragomir, I don't know if he plays better on the right or left. But uh, he definitely played better on the right against United. So we'll see how he does here today. From Watford, I almost said Everton again. The goalkeeper was beat. Luckily, it strikes off the post. I like this Cortez guy. He's a young, young goalkeeper. I want to give him a chance. I want Mikel to give him a chance. But he needs to start making some saves. What a run. Theodore Dragomir. Oh, my God. He can't score today. He can't score today. He's had that chance against United where he runs down the right wing. The last time the shot went wide. This time... Keeper saves, Dragomir touch, shot goes for the curler. Another great save by Czech. It looks just like a, like a, is that just Czech without a helmet? I don't understand. <laughs> Dragomir takes the corner. I prefer Dragomir being in there for the corners, if I'm honest. New position, right wing. They pushed us up to the wing. Position, here's Theodore Dragomir touch and shot. Oh, again on target. Czech forcing it wide. Corner goes in, Dragomir definitely beating the defender. No, he doesn't. So we're right wing now. So maybe they're playing like a 4-3-3. But Coco's done well. Then gives it away. In behind Pickford. Considering retirement. Yeah, this Cortez guy going to get a lot more game time. If he does, that's for sure. That's why I want him to get more game time now. So he's ready for if Pickford does leave, you know. Hickey. Down this right hand side. Dragomir getting into the box. I think he just went offside. Doesn't reach him anyway. 20 minutes of game time left. I said we can't lose a game in the league. From here on out, if we want to challenge for the league title. And right now, we are dropping a big three points. Odegaard. Dragomir. Back up to Martin Odegaard. Back to Theodore Dragomir, edge of the box. Yeah, no chance, no chance. Tielemans, lovely. Odegaard. McCoke. Oh, bad pass. Dragomir goes up to Hickey. Back to Dragomir. Middle to Neves. Odegaard. Dragomir. All the way out to Hickey. We keep going back. Like we trying to break them down, but just can't get in behind. Dragomir, first time shot. Forced it. It was on target again. There's no beat in this check guy. Maybe Arsenal should sign him. Dragomir! Oh, maybe there is. <laughs> maybe there is. What a header from Theodore Dragomir. Pick up that ball. What a header. He can still score headers from corners, ladies and gentlemen. I think he's like six foot, six foot one. He can still score headers. What a ball. Martin Erdegaard front post scrambled for it just got in front the keeper got a hand to it I love the animations I don't know how people say Pez is more realistic than FIFA the animations it's definitely not he got a hand to it but punched it into the net 1-1 and time for a winner this ball now a draws no good for us 90th minute oh too little too late 3 minutes added we need this ball right now right now Dragon is chasing it Humble. it's ours oh my god oh my god Oh, down line, down line, down line. Down line, one more, one more. Oh my god. It's now or never. Theodore Dragomir. Ball in. Makoko's in there, wins the header. Oh, on target, keeper saved. No, Dragomir doesn't want to take Odegaard take. Get Dragomir in there. If he scores a winner from a corner, I swear to god, oh, he has. He actually has. He always skips the celebrations all the time. That's one thing I don't like about this game. It skips the celebrations. I didn't press anything and it skips it. But Theodore Dragomir has just scored two headers and scores the winner, 90th minute. That's why we gave it to Martin Odegaard. That is a hey, check. Fair, he looks like a young goalkeeper. Fair play. He done amazing. But Theodore Dragomir has surely just scored the winner in the 90th minute. There's the full-time whistle. And all three points are coming home with us. Two corners, two headers, and three points. Graphics to... Cut scenes are all smooth as well. Now, I'm so, so happy it's all working. Dragomir, two headers from corners. Incredible, incredible performance. Fantastic display. Six foot Cortez. So, yeah, he's not, I mean, he's not overly tall, but he's not overly short. Six foot is okay. What oh, a long break to our next game. Aston Villa. Dragomir's going to be coming off the bench. And then we have Reading to end the episode. 
in the final. Dragon Man coming off the bench. Ten minutes to play on the left-hand side before the cup final. Oh, the pink kit. Oh, it's a corner. Surely not. He just scored two headers. Oh, he headed the wrong way, Williams. Miss Hamble. Oh, my God, we got a penalty. Off the bench, we got a penalty. That is unfortunate for Aston Villa. Makoko is the penalty taker. On that left foot goes bottom bins. 81st minute. McCokes puts us ahead. And another three points coming in the Premier League. What an episode, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to play FIFA all day. Now that like it's all running smooth, I'm loving it. <laughs> oh, what an interception. Makoko through Dragomir. Surely wants to get back on the score sheet in the... Oh, no, he stinks. He stinks. Dragomir. Oh. Bro, you scored two headers. And then you just flop bump a one-on-one -on -one like that. Even Tyrese Tinabu would score that. Let's not let them get back into it now. Five minutes. Up on the right side. Power shot, Pickford. Strong save, Picky. Corner in. Header out. Easy. Dragomir. Touchdown. Take it in your stride. Take it in your stride. New position right mid. That is A-OK. -okay. Let's finish this counter-attack first. Dragomir and corner counter-attacks. Name a better duo, ladies and gentlemen. He wants to make up for that miss earlier. Oh, and he gets it on target. Dragomir's finishing, dude. I don't know what's... Like, sometimes he's the best finish in the world, and sometimes he can't hit a barn door. Go on, TD. Oh, not making it past him. If Kukureya was there, Dragomir would be one-on-one. -on -one. Nine if minute. We'll take a 1-0 penalty win. We'll absolutely take a 1-0 penalty win. <coughs> don't lose the ball there, red kick. Well done. Deal to Dragomir. One minute left. Get one more successful pass for your stats. Oda got a chip through ball at Dragomir. Again, just get a successful pass. Boost those stats. Oh, he incomplete pass. Full time whistle somewhere. May oh my god. Oh. Oh. My. And of course, this celebration, it doesn't skip, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Makoko gets one more for his tally. I, we can't even watch that celebration. That is pathetic. From the Aston Villa goalkeeper, just got caught up in his feet. We take a 2 0 lead. We're not even selected for the cup final, ladies and gentlemen. We're, I mean, it is EFL Cup, to be fair. So at least we're coming off the bench so we can see the finale if we do win. We also have Newcastle in the FA Cup. We have Real Sociedad. I forgot we had the Europa League still. Completely forgot we had the Europa League. But to end off this episode, we're coming on up front. Half an hour left. We are losing to Reading. So Dragomir needs to put his finishing boots on right now, ladies and gentlemen. The Cup final. Leave a thumbs up on the video and let's get this dub. Never before won the EFL Cup, of course. Through the Dragomir. Oh my god. Oh yeah, hope we are. I oh, know it's at Wembley, isn't it? We have the real life scoreboard, of course. I was gonna say this looks very nice. It's Wembley, of course. Do they have a pink kit reading? I think they do. Oh the shadows and look how oh my god. It, it looks nice, but it's also hard to see with all the shadows and the light. We're in red, they're in pink. We should dominate Dragomir already down this left hand side. Wants to be the hero. Open up his Yeah, no, he stinks, man. He can't finish. He can't finish. New position, right wing. So we've not stayed striker for too long. We've not stayed striker for too long. But Dragomir trying to go from the corner again. On target, good save. Boys, we need a goal. I mean, obviously we're the favourites in this final. If Redding get an EFL Cup win, would be massive for them. Theodore Dragomir around the goalkeeper, open goal. That is what we're talking about. That is what we expect from Theodore Dragomir. That is what we expect. The lighting looks so weird in Wembley. Isn't it open, Wembley, though? Why is it so dark? Where's all the sh uh, shadows coming from? Unless it's not Wembley, round the goalkeeper. As cool as you like. No, it is Wembley Stadium. It's just really... I guess just the sun's down. I guess, you know, the sun's down. There's some shade coming, I guess. It's a cloudy day in London. It's a lovely arena. And Dragomir has another Wembley appearance. I'll say another. Is this his first Wembley? Oh, no. Yeah, because he's never won the FA Cup before, has he? Is this Dragomir's first time at Wembley? You guys can let me know in the comments. You guys know more than me. Diallo looking to put Reading back up top. Pickford. Pickford, Pickford. What an episode. A cup final out of nowhere. Dragomir around the goalkeeper. Oh. Harrison on the mood. Don't know who that is. Got a little mullet. That's the good thing about being back in the Prem, though. A ref? Is I think Dragomir is pretty... Oh, they got a red card. Red card for Reading. They have just bottled this cup final. The biggest match in a long time for Reading, I'm sure. To win a trophy. Down to 10 men. Is Harris, I think Harrison's number 9, the striker. In the middle. 
Love the real life score, but I just love everything about this series. I really, really do. Like I was going to say, I think Dragme is looking to become a, uh, an Arsenal legend now. Like, I think Arsenal is just his team he's going to stay at for a few years now. Because we never normally have that in a series. And I, 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 he feels comfortable with the team. There, there's no teams that would really take his mind off Arsenal. He's won two Premier League trophies with them. He wants to win the Champions League with them. He wants to win the Champions League with them, that's for sure. He starts to win the FA Cup. Hopefully he wins the Carabao Cup today. Europa League, stuff like that. All wants to do it with Arsenal. Theodore, up to number nine. It is Camelo. It's not Harris. I don't know who Harrison is. Goes down to the left-hand side. Cuts it into Theodore Dragomir. Coming over from right to left. Camelo. Theodore Dragomir. Oh, he's finishing, dude. Put it in the corner. We do get another corner, funny enough. Dragomir battling with two defenders. Oh, it pushed him off it. Dragomir touch. Shot handle. It was, but we play on. Theodore Dragomir again. Edge of the box. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Scored the winner from this side. And again. Oh. He's done it again, ladies and gentlemen. Theodore Dragomir is actually unstoppable right now from corners. I don't know what it is. He is unstoppable from corners. I don't know why sometimes the hair works, sometimes it doesn't. It's a really weird thing in this game. That's not the mods, that's just the game. What a header from another corner. Theodore Dragomir cannot be touched, and it's 2-1. We want to end this episode with a trophy celebration. FC, we're by far the good. They're playing Bournemouth today, actually. Um, they're playing Bournemouth today, so... Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Did Arsenal win? Are we still top of the league? I mean, even if we lose, we're top of the league. But did they beat Bournemouth? Let me know. Hopefully they did. I think Man City beat Newcastle, which isn't great for us. But Arsenal are going to win the Premier League. Of course, you guys in the future, yet again, can let me know if we did, did, uh, if we did beat Bournemouth or not. And if I'm happy or not. Williams Jr. has dragged him in the box. Lovely ball in. Did or oh, drag him in. Open goal for Camelo. 3-1. We are lifting a trophy today. Nice to see Camilla get game time. Again, we don't have too many backup strikers that get game time, him and Noel, so it's uh, it's nice to see. Dragomir has Odegaard ahead of him. Goes back to Theodore Dragomir. In the box now. Oh my god, don't know what that was, but he lost the ball. Coming off the bench, a goal down to win 3-1. What a performance from the Gunners, eh? Dragomir having a field day against a championship team trying to squeeze back in. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. The trophy is ours. Theodore Dragomir is a champion in England with Arsenal again. We finally have a trophy celebration that is going to be smooth. I wish the hair was working, but it's fine. Arsenal can celebrate. It is just the Carabao Cup. It is just the EFL Cup. But it's a trophy nonetheless for Theodore Dragomir. And I think he will be happy with it. Yuri Tillemans has the armband. At least Dragomir came off the bench to see the celebrations. Let's get ready for that trophy lift. Champion, champion, champion. Oh, Odegaard should have had the armband. It's a nice looking trophy to be feather car, but I mean, it's okay. It's no FA Cup, but uh, we'll, we'll win that later, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, we'll win that later. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. Oh, hey. Tillemans and Pickford, both from Leicester, winning a trophy with the Gunners. Dragomir in the background, big celebrations at Wembley. Oh my goodness, the half of Arsenal fans can say again, it's just the Carabao Cup, but you might as well celebrate a trophy. We love to see it. The FA Cup is next, ladies and gentlemen. The Europa League will join as well. And anyways, if we have a massive end, the Premier League trophy is. If that was Dragomir. What a thumbnail. One day when he's captain of Arsenal, because again, if he stays with Arsenal, maybe eventually he'll be captain. We can see him lift the trophy. Big, big, big end to the episode, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you have enjoyed. We are a champion in England, which is awesome. We want to be the champions of England, of course, but that is a start. It's another trophy for the trophy cabinet. Awesome, awesome stuff. We have the FA Cup and EFL, uh, Europa League, sorry, coming up. So that's going to be big. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, please do leave a, uh, leave a thumbs up on the video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one. Much of as always, take care and peace. Oh,